Rule eight, right? I, I learned this rule in the airport and because I'm 41 and not 25 anymore. Rule number eight, patience is a farce. Hear me out, <laughs> hear me out. So I did a red eye flight cross country and had a three hour layover. And I'm thinking in my 25 year old traveling the world brain like, oh my gosh, this is gonna be so painful. I'm gonna have three hours in this airport with you know maybe some stuff won't be open and it's gonna be early and my battery's gonna be low. And all those things were the case. My phone did work. And I got to the airport, my layover, and that three hours was a breeze. And I just sat. I didn't watch CNN on the screen above me. I was rarely on my phone. Didn't have a need to get on my computer. I didn't want to consume. I didn't want to create. I just sat. And then it was time to get on my flight. And yes, did three hours pass? Yes. Did it feel long? No. Was I any more patient? No, I'm just older. And it's the gas tank. <laughs> like, when you have a full tank, you got a lot of time. When you have a quarter tank, there isn't much time. It seems that the needle seems to drop quicker. So I guess I'm in a point in my life where the needle's dropping quicker because three hours went like 45 minutes, which is fine. I want people to take advantage of their time. I want people to be productive. But I also want to say that personally, patience is a farce. So your parents, kids, your parents are not patient. They're just running out of time. And therefore, it seems like <laughs> to them they can wait longer. But they're not waiting longer because they have less time ahead of them. So they're always rushed. And you have your whole life ahead of you, which means you feel like you have a lot of time. So, which renders you impatient to your parents. But your, patients, your parents are impatient too. Just about stuff that they're impatient about in their world with their perspective of time. So, patience is a farce. Like Coach G says, it's all relative to your perspective.